What's Gucci YouTube world? It's 22 Khalil. And with today's news, it's going to have a lot of Panther fans split. Now, as most of you guys know, it's been announced that the Panthers will make Christian McCaffrey the highest paid running back in NFL history. And like most Panther fans, I'm still confused as hell about what the Panthers are doing this offseason. Are we rebuilding or are we staying competitive? Like, make your mind up. And with the way it's looking, management better put together a contending team in the next few years before this Matt Rule tenure turns into Chip Kelly 2.0. If you don't know what I'm talking about, search it up. And with the way they're handling this offseason, fans are going to be ready to pounce on them with slander, especially with the way they did Cam. But hell, I'm going to save all the slander for another video. First thing first, shout out to Christian McCaffrey for that extension. This man deserves all his money after putting the team on his back the way he did last year. No offense to Kyle Allen, but hell, he made people really think that Kyle Allen was a starter just by taking check downs and turning them into 20 yard plays. I want everybody to learn the name Kyle Allen. And after watching C Max first two years of us, it's really not a stretch to call him the best running back we had in franchise history. He can rush and catch the ball at an elite rate, proving that with a thousand yards in both rushing and receiving last year. And all of this is amazing, but with the mystery behind the future of this team, I don't know if it was a smart move for the Panthers to really give him all that money. And I know he's a dual threat guy, but I've seen the same story with Le'Veon, David Johnson, Zeke, and Todd Gurley. And it's not all their fault though. I think a good scheme and a good roster helps a lot when it comes to running back success. But when it comes to running backs being that dependent on being good you do have to question them getting all-time money when i watch kyle shanahan make raheem mostert look like prime chris johnson it makes me wonder about the value of the running back same with the patriots and her five serviceable running backs now christian mccaffrey don't grow on trees but with how amazing of a season he had we still went five and eleven and like i said it's not his fault but a more valuable position like quarterback deserves all-time money christian does deserve to be paid but i don't trust the panthers as an organization to fully support him and give him the pieces that he needs to thrive I'm still 50-50 on this, but don't get it twisted. I'm still excited to see how Joe Brady can utilize him in the offense next year. Him and Joe Brady is the only thing that gives me hope about this team next year. Shoot, with the way I talk about Joe Brady, you think that he's the head coach. But like I said, congrats to White Chocolate. Hopefully we give him the pieces to thrive. Now that he's essentially basically our franchise player. And Joe Brady's the right step there, but I don't think Herney's good enough or smart enough to really build around him. Now guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And until next time, it's your boy 22 Khalil. As they say in Japan, Jamatane, peace.